and that is from a supplement called Methylene Blue. So this is a good lesson on why you should fact check everything, whether everything you hear on the internet, whether you really believe it or not. I saw this video and I was kind of skeptical because methylene blue is like that's a just, that's a indicator and it's a stain. What are you talking about with all these weird claims and properties? Like he makes a lot of claims in the video about all the different benefits of taking methylene blue, and I was like, that's a little suspicious. So I decided to fact check it. I did find out that most of the claims he made in the video are actually pretty much true, if a little bit exaggerated. So yeah, this is methylene blue, that's just the molecule of it, and it has quite a lot of uses in um, lots of fields like chemistry, biochemistry, microbiology, cellular biology, etc. One of the applications of it is as a stain for cellular components. When there's a sample of stuff like tissue, cells, etc., what you want to see under the microscope, it's really small and usually very hard to see just normally because there's not a lot of contrast and they're not very strongly colored. So stains are added to make them more visible under the microscope. And methylene blue is often one of these stains depending on what you're trying to see. Additionally, it works as a redox indicator, so reduction oxidation. And so that means it changes color depending on whether the molecule is oxidized. So when it's oxidized, it's blue, and when it's reduced, it is yellowish colorless. Redox, by the way, is just whether a molecule gains or loses electrons during the process of a chemical reaction. That's not the important part. So the first claim made in the video is that methylene blue boosts mitochondrial function, which uh, that is quite often used as one of those health buzzwords. So I, I have noticed that people that are big into health but don't have quite a super high level of bio biology knowledge, they hear mitochondria and they're like, ah! Mitochondria, powerhouse of the cell. Boosting mitochondria means more power, which is not technically wrong. But however, it is like boosting mitochondria, I have found, is very commonly a buzzword of this is good for you without explaining why. So technically, again, it's not wrong, but basically how it works, methylene blue acts as a um, electron donor to the electron transport chain. And the electron transport chain, its function is to make a lot of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is basically the currency of the cell, everything in the cell needs ATP. In order to make the ATP, the electron transport chain has to move electrons around in order to like just do all that. I'm not explaining this, but basically the methylene blue um, gives its electrons to the electron transport chain and that makes it like more active, I guess, like it does it more and then technically, yes, you are making more ATP because of the electrons donated from the um, methylene blue to the electron transport chain, electron transport chain to get more ATP. Another claim is that it works as a MAO inhibitor. And again, it does also do this, but MAO is monoamine oxidase, and it is an enzyme that basically works to degrade neurotransmitters. So the most common of those neurotransmitters being serotonin and dopamine. So the MAO degrades those serotonin and dopamine molecules, and so they are no longer present in the bloodstream and not doing their function. So yes, it does inhibit MAO, which allows serotonin and dopamine to stay in your bloodstream longer. It is also claimed to be um, antiviral and uh, antimicrobial, so kills viruses and microbes which it does have those properties. I don't know how effective it is in those, like doing that when ingested. I haven't really looked that up a ton, but like just used, like it is toxic to certain, like a bunch of viruses and other microbes. 
However, I don't know how effective that property is when orally ingested. And finally, the last claim he made in the video was that is anti-aging anti and, and antioxidant, which, yes, that is true. It does help prevent oxidative stress, st oxidative stress, goodness gracious, which in turn helps, like, avoid DNA and cellular damage, which does, like, I guess, slow or, like, like, prevent the aging process a little bit, even though aging in itself isn't bad, it just, but oxidative stress is bad. So we do want to avoid oxidative damage, and this does have antioxidant properties. So yeah, I actually learned some things today. Um, before uh, making this video, I only thought that methylene blue was just a indicator and a stain, so there, there you go, always fact check.